Hello everyone, I am Melanie Youngsma, publisher of the Lansing Journal, Lansing's only newspaper. The Lansing Journal's mission is to keep our diverse community informed and connected, and this week's video provides a unique expression of that mission. I'm going to be reading an open letter, but before I do that, some context will be helpful, especially for readers who are newer to Lansing, and for our YouTube audience, many of whom have never been to our little village. So before reading the, the open letter, I need to share with you the backstory of our local high school. I don't want to get too far into the weeds with this, but a little history will be helpful. The name of our high school in Lansing is TF South, which stands for Thornton Fractional South. And there is a reason our school was given this sort of uninspiring name. You see, back in the 1920s, families in Lansing and surrounding towns attended school in Calumet City, which is just north of Lansing. The name of that school was Thornton Fractional Township High School because its district was a fraction of Thornton Township. In the 1950s, the student population was growing and Thornton Fractional Township High School was running out of space. So a new school was built in Lansing in 1958 and it was named Thornton Fractional South. The original school became known as Thornton Fractional North, TF South and TF North. To play on that North-South rivalry, the new school, TF South, chose as its mascot a rebel soldier. So TF South became the rebels and they used the Confederate flag and the colors red and gray as part of that identity. In those early days, it was simply a nod to that history of the one school dividing into two and being named North and South. So when people from the 1950s and 1960s say that the name rebels and the rebel flag were not racist, that is what they mean. Of course, in the 50s and 60s, Lansing was 90% white. As our demographics changed throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, our awareness of other people's realities also changed. In 1993, the Confederate flag was retired as a symbol of TF South. In 2020, the name Rebels was retired, though many alumni of the school still refer to themselves as Rebels. So that history provides some context for this letter I'm about to read, and I also want to explain a little bit about the people who wrote it. They are members of a program called Common Ground. Common Ground is sponsored by the Lansing Journal, and I too am a member. And again, I won't go into all the details of how the program works, but Common Ground provides opportunities to engage in conversation with people who are different from you. The members of the program are black, brown, and white. They represent different generations, different faith backgrounds, different careers, different family situations. They don't always agree with each other. They don't always see eye to eye. But they agree to keep coming back into conversation with each other. That's the background. Now I'll read the letter. Local Voices, an open letter to rebels of all generations, submitted by members of the Common Ground Project. It has been more than a month since a letter was published in the Lansing Journal from the NAACP regarding a TF South reunion where the Confederate flag was publicly displayed. We've had time to think about that letter and that reunion and the history of TF South and the history of Lansing. We've had time to discuss and disagree and stay in conversation with each other. This open letter is born out of those conversations. We are not writing to demand change or to enact policies. We are not looking for elected officials or established systems to solve what we feel are relational issues. We simply want to share some of the heartfelt responses we've exchanged with each other perspectives you might not be aware of if your circles include only people who feel the same way you do. 
Please know we are grateful for the generations who invested time and money to establish a local high school in Lansing. And we are grateful for later rebels who attended, taught at, or volunteered in order to make TF South a solid educational community. Your legacy continues to benefit our diverse community today. As new generations step in to continue the work, we hope they will demonstrate the same depth of commitment you did, because the work must continue. Our community today needs the same kind of volunteerism, vision, and selflessness that previous generations, like you, invested in Lansing. In fact, even today, we hope that rebels of all generations will show that same selfless spirit when considering how the Confederate flag is used as a symbol. For example, we understand that for some people, the rebel flag, the Confederate flag, is a reminder of hometown football games, school assemblies, and lifelong friendships. Could we also acknowledge that for other people, that same flag is a reminder of painful experiences? like personal participation in civil rights marches that ended in bloodshed, and personal property that was hatefully vandalized, and personal experience with ugly, hurtful social media comments and images, right here in Lansing, not that long ago. An acknowledgement of these experiences would send a message that our very real and recent suffering is at least as important as your well-earned nostalgia. And honestly, that acknowledgement would help us believe those who explain that there was never any racist intent behind using the Confederate flag as a symbol of TF South. To be clear, it is the flag we are focused on. Whatever your original understanding was of that flag and its place in our history, you probably have learned by now that it also represents Jim Crow, the Ku Klux Klan, segregation, and lynchings. Whatever your allegiance to that flag's history at TF South, history also tells us that flag is the symbol of a failed attempt to divorce from a democracy trying to establish a more perfect union. Could we at least acknowledge that this flag symbolizes historical realities that even people who call themselves rebels probably are not proud of. Lansing has come... <clears throat> Lansing has come a long way in racial understanding. Our successfully diverse community is an ongoing, intentional work that we can be both proud of and dissatisfied with. We understand that within the group of people who call or called themselves rebels. <clears throat> there is a range of opinions and values, <clears throat> just as there is within the common ground group. <sighs> we are learning how to respect differences while still encouraging change where needed. That is, after all, the challenge of building community. Will you, rebels of all generations, join us in this ongoing work of building a community we can all be proud of? Will you walk beside those of us who are exploring new ways to make Lansing a place where all kinds of people feel welcome? We are here and we are adding our resources and ideas to the foundations you have laid. The work you started, K-12 
cannot be finished without us. It will take all of us to keep building a community whose future is as beloved as its past. Will you join us?